surgery with the non-dominant hand. This is a cataract with genular dehiscence from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And I am placing the incision at 2 o'clock to avoid the area of genular dehiscence. And I had to do this surgery with my non-dominant hand because this is the right eye of the patient. And now the anterior capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye. The dye is washed out. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The air bubble is removed by visco and now the anterior capsule is being incised by a cystitome, a 26 gauze bent needle. Now I am using my left hand to do part of the rexus from 11.30 o'clock to about 5 o'clock. Now I am using the cystitome to complete the rexus. This is the area where the genule is firmly intact. Hydro dissection is done. And watch the rotation of the nucleus. Whenever you find a case of genular dehiscence, rotate the lens bimanually. This will give least stress on the genule. Visco again to fill up the anterior chamber and now a seat here is being placed and to place the seat here I need a side port at around 4 o'clock to use a Sinsky hook through this step wound. The seat here goes the trailing haptic, goes in the capsular bag and now the seat here is guided. A Sinsky hook is taken in my left hand which goes through the 4 o'clock side port. See the how the since CTR suddenly went into the capsular bag. And now I'm using a pre chopper to divide the nucleus because in weak genule it is better to use a pre chopper if possible to divide the nucleus then go into the anterior chamber with the handpiece. The handpiece is in my left hand, the chopper is in my right hand and I am emulsifying the fragments
this video is running at on point four speed the nuclear pieces are being emulsified and they are coming easily to the tip to increase followability you have to turn the handpiece and the bevel should face the piece you are you want to attract. If the piece is on the left, the bevel should be sideways and towards the left. If the piece is on the right, the bevel should be sideways and should face, the bevel should face right. This is the last nuclear piece as well as the epinucleus. For the last portion, I use visco, push the posterior capsule back and use the handpiece to emulsify the last piece. Let's go again and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic monofocal intraocular lens going into the capsular bag. Now the journal dehiscence is from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. So the lens is oriented in such a way that the haptic on the right side supports the area of genular dehiscence. The lens is nicely in the central part, the optic is nicely centered and now is the uh, uh, visco that has been used to present SPMC is being removed thoroughly by this instrument. This is a 23 gauze Simco cannula. Thorough removal of visco is essential. The side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration with BSS. Since this is a case of genular dehiscence, we must check if there is any vitreous strand anywhere. This is diluted triamcinolone acetate and I find that there is no vitreous strand in the anterior chamber. Again the anterior chamber is nicely washed off, the anterior chamber is nicely formed integrity of the wounds uh, checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.